and then the light came in through my through my chakras and then it got down to my sacral chakra and that was where I I stored all my fear my my fear that I was separate my fear that I wasn't safe my fear mm -hmm. that I didn't belong and so I just started crying and just like this sense of like relief like oh my god if it isn't love it isn't real mm -hmm. like the only thing in this universe that is real is love therefore all of the thoughts that I've had that are fearful that was just an illusion yeah. and I had a direct experience of that mm. and I had this like enormous sense of relief of like oh my god thank god it was all an illusion so anyway that night so I had the experience lasted about 10 minutes and it was it completely it completely changed my life and um that night I went to speak to Christopher and he said that the same thing had happened to him when he was 21 years of age Wow. So we both just lay under the stars like as these like two like innocent children just sort of come come back together again in in the awe and ecstasy of of God really. Mm -hmm. And um and then the next morning I woke up and that's when I had my kundalini awakening. Okay. Yeah. And then all of a sudden this energy just started like surging up yes. from my um from my sacral chakra. Yeah, yeah. And it was the only way I can describe it is like being on ecstasy. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is it didn't stop. For me it went on for six it, months. It went on for six months. Six months, yeah. You know, when you when you when you're sharing this, I mean I'm sure there's lots more to it, but yeah. um it does remind me of what David Icke speaks about when he had that kind of awakening in Peru. Oh and yeah. It's a very well, it sounds quite similar. Really? And it also kind of happened out of the blue and it also was a major download of knowledge oh, and wow. being shown what his role was in the whole thing and everything. So oh, I'm getting, getting goosebumps. It wow. sounds very similar, which is great.